Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And not all hope is lost. So a lot of people have been commenting and analysts have been saying that T-Mobile and AT&T are going to fall further and further behind in terms of the millimeter wave deployments when it comes to 5G. And of course, Verizon calls it 5G ultra wideband. AT&T says it's 5G plus. But... We all know right now the leader in that deployment is clearly Verizon. Now, AT&T, I get the feeling they want to play. They want to play in the millimeter wave space, too. So as you see here, another great article by Fierce Wireless. AT&T turns up millimeter wave 5G test bed at UT campus. So this video is in, is in collaboration with the tech extremist. So you, you will see this on his channel as well, just to offer you guys the best content. And to give everybody a, a good experience. Now, just to read a brief uh, part of the article, at and is installing a 5G testbed using millimeter wave spectrum at the University of Tennessee to explore 5G use cases for rural areas. Now, now listen, for rural areas, digital learning experiences, and military applications. A lot of people said this is foolish. A lot of people said it doesn't make sense. Tech Extremist has been saying this in his videos if you watch him for a while now. It won't be it won't be at scale. Don't get me wrong, but he has stated you will see millimeter wave in rural America. There will be use cases for this spectrum even in rural America. Shopping centers, uh venues, maybe a a local state fair, whatever it is. Maybe there's a concert there in rural America. Millimeter Wave will have its shine in rural America as well. It, it won't be at the same scale as urban. That's understandable. But it will make its way out there. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. I just wanted to get, to get this out to you guys, this update. Again, at and is, is is testing this. I think this this millimeter wave spectrum is going to have a bigger impact than people realize. Even T-Mobile is going to jump on that bandwagon eventually. Verizon is showing you where they're going with it. They're putting up nodes everywhere. They're putting up repeaters. It's going indoors. It's going on the DAS systems. Verizon is deploying this at a much bigger scale. The reason they're deploying it at a much bigger scale as of now is because they didn't have any mid-band spectrum to deploy when it comes to a true 5G layer at scale. T-Mobile's been busy with N41. We know that. Verizon started millimeter wave in 2017. AT&T was still fairly busy with FirstNet and deploying all their LTE carriers. Now they're kind of shifting towards the millimeter wave as well. And at some point, like I said, T-Mobile will also get on the bandwagon. So if you have been on the channel or you're new to the channel and you have not yet liked, shared, subscribed, make sure you do so. Also subscribe to the Tech Extremist channel for more updates and interactions. Make sure to follow both of our social media outlets for, for more updates and interactions. Thanks again for watching. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.